more or less a wrestling match. The linesman in between trying some left-handed jabs was Reed Seckle. Oh, uh -oh. And he knocks the linesman down, or did the linesman fall? No, he pushed him. <laughs> he absolutely, uh, he just shut him to the ice, so. His wallet's going to be a little lighter now. So, Wiener bleibt am Boden liegen. Arm der Schiedsrichter bleibt unten. Und Rotter geht da den Schiedsrichter an, oh mein Gottes Willen! Was ist denn jetzt los? Raphael Rotter, Attacke gegen den Schiedsrichter, gegen Lesniak. Also da gehen ja mit Rotter alle Sicherungen durch. Und er weiß schon, wo sein Weg hinführt. Cut am Auge bei Rotter. Klar, dass er sich da ärgert. Aber den Schiedsrichter angehen, Mann oh Mann. So, wir schauen es uns noch mal an. Da kommt ein hoher Stock ins Gesicht von Rotter. Lesniak steht genau daneben. Und so wie es aussieht, ist sich McKenzie da seiner Schuld auch durchaus bewusst. Hier, Schläger ins Gesicht von Rotter. Das hätte definitiv bestraft werden müssen. Und dann gehen mit Rotter alle Sicherungen durch. Tätlicher Angriff gegen den Schiedsrichter von Raphael Rotter. As players proceeding towards the defending zone of the Manchester Storm, with the opposing team in possession of the park, Dallas Erhard hooked a player for which the referee immediately signalled a delayed penalty. Considering the hooking call is conclusive that a penalty is required, play should have been stopped with simply touching or playing the puck by a Manchester Storm player. Instead, Erhard, knowing that he is receiving a penalty, winds up and takes a fairly forceful shot in the direction of the referee. The area and direction in which Erhard shoots the puck is not considered normal. It is considered as a gesture of disgust with the hooking call that was obvious, or in frustration at himself for allowing an attacking player to get ahead of him and needing to use an illegal means to stop him. Either way, it is not the fault of the official or permissible to assume that the official was at fault. At no time is a player permitted to use or show physicality towards, or in this case shoot a puck at or in the vicinity of, a game official. <laughs> Och frågan är om domarna kommer göra någonting mer av det här än om att både Manusson och eh, Larsson här och eh, än om att både Manusson och eh, Larsson här och eh, än om att både Manusson och eh, Larsson här och eh, aby naozaj zvitazil len hockey. Náročné bude to určite aj pre rozhodcov ako zvládnu ďalšie stretnutia, pretože rivalita medzi oboma tímami je veľká. Tu sa môžeme pozrieť aj na ten nehokejový záver stretnutia. Mladý zvolenský hráč, mraz, ktorý prakticky ani nezasiahol do stretnutia poriadne. Tak... A to ešte len bude pokračovať a naozaj som odohral toho veľa, ale toto som ani nie, že len nezažil, ale len, ani len nevidel. It was taken into consideration that the puck may have left the playing area, although this was not conclusive on the video and it may have made contact with the net above the glass, which kept the puck in play shortly before the scoring of a goal. Regardless of whether the puck did or did not leave the ice surface, the game officials did not stop play. Ultimately, this is the determining factor. Accordingly, the goal should and does count which is the correct decision on the part of the match officials. Immediately after the goal, Matt Hayward skates to the front side of the net and makes a choice to propel the net backwards at the referee in an aggressive manner. This is unacceptable, has no place in the game and has a detrimental effect for not only Matt Hayward, but also his team, the Glasgow clan and the EIHL brand. Haywood's actions would not have any effect on the officials in terms of changing their decision. In addition, when the high referee skates down into the zone, Matt Haywood swings his stick from above his head to the ice 
in a manner both aggressive and dangerous. Matt Hayward is responsible for his emotions and in this case was excessive in a negative manner. År. Så lång tid stängs ishockeyspelaren Alexander Rindo av efter att ha crosscheckat en domare under en Division 2-match i Stockholm. Det var under en spelvändning som 23-åringen till vardags i Flemingsbergs IK bromsar in och sedan går till attack mot domaren. Matchen spelades i mitten av december men först nu kommer alltså beslutet att han stängs av i två års tid. Och det är inte bara från ishockey utan från all idrott. Have surely got to get the next goal if they're going to get anything out of this one. Clements will send it goalwards, and we've still got players involved in the tussle behind the goal. It's Fretter. However, the Blaze player is down there. Can't quite pick him out at the moment. He's laying on top of Fretter's stick, and he desperately wanted to free it. it was Paquette. Paquette, yeah, he's not going to let him, let him up early. I mean, you could see what was happening there. Now Paquette comes back at him, and you know this this is something that uh, that should have been called earlier than that. You know, I'm I'm going to be a little biased here on Fretter and say Paquette's got to let go of Fretter's stick. He's trying to pull the stick out there, and and Paquette's not allowing it. And then he comes back and takes his helmet off. Why is he taking his helmet off? Unless he's trying to initiate something. He's not putting his helmet back on. He literally took it off. So Fitzgerald comes in and says, well, what are you doing? Davy Phillips comes in and says, Fitzy, just leave it alone. And Paquette now is trying to manhandle the linesman. So the linesman's doing his job. You can't push him away, pal. You know, that's part of it. You want to keep arguing and push it away. Oh, and he's pushed right the there. linesman. It's all right there. He's just stepped over. That's a match penalty in my, by my opinion. You cannot touch him. Send him right away. He's pushed he, the linesman. That's it. And exactly what the, the referee says, you do it. The linesman's doing his job. He's got every right to push him out of the pile. He put his hands on Ilya Kissel and shoved him away. And that is game over for... It's, it's silly. Maybe mishandle that puck a little bit. Martin stays with the play. Quick release. That that's over for me there. When you can see it at the at the far stick, I think that's that's gone over the line. And I don't see how we can get there past Murphy without it having gone over the line completely. But it's not pretty, but perhaps fitting that the league's top points getter is the first goal scorer in Ice Arena Wells. Congratulations, Joey Martin. Absolutely. And, and the uh, Giants are leaving the ice, and Hogarth is actually going to have to have a word here there was a uh, protesting going on off the ice uh, still I mean he's not going to change his mind now uh, St. Clember isn't here yeah so Joey Martin gets his 28th goal of the season his 79th point and if you talk about Ben Bounds perhaps as the devil we're going to see a misconduct here happening uh, he actually caught Hog off with his stick there which is going to leave him in a lot of trouble I, th I don't think he meant to he was gesticulating to someone else but to, to have caught Hog after that, that's a very... With the game concluding, the incident occurred in front of the Guildford Flames net. With the original players that concluded the game still on the ice, Nickerson left the players' bench to enter the area of the incident. Believing that the game is finished is not a reason for any player to leave the players' bench to engage in a physical altercation. And Nickerson received two match penalties for his actions during the ensuing altercation. Match penalty one. Abuse of official. At no time is a player allowed to skate at, intimidate or physically demean an opposing player whilst under the restraint of a game official. Nickerson left the player's bench to entertain a possible physical altercation with an opposing player. In his lengthy venture to engage an opponent, Nickerson did not follow instructions from the game officials and physically broke free of the linesman to try and engage an opposing player on multiple occasions. 
considering Nickerson had no regard or respect for the game officials and left the players' bench for the purpose of engaging in a physical altercation with an opposing player. Supplementary discipline is required and the Elite League Department of Player Safety has suspended Matt Nickerson for six games for abuse of official. Match penalty two, engaging with a spectator. While leaving the playing surface, but still located on the ice, Nickerson takes his stick and moves it from his right hand to his left hand. This is the start of an action that sets up Nickerson for physical motion with his right hand. It is also an indication that there is premeditated thought on Nickerson's part to do something physical. While stepping off the ice, with the gate directly to his right, Nickerson begins a winding up motion with his right arm. Unsuspecting to the fan who is located behind the gate, Nickerson delivers a forceful backhand punch directly to the head of the fan. Fighting off the ice surface does not have the same rules as fighting on the ice surface, and hitting a fan off the ice surface is treated with an entirely different level of severity. At no time is a player allowed to engage with a fan. It is the responsibility of the player not to make physical contact with a fan. In this case, Nickerson engaged and physically demeaned the fan of his own free will.